Nick and Dan here with another episode of Nick and Dan Show. Hey Dan. What's up Nick? Not too much. A little sore from this uh, past show on Thursday. Yeah, it kind of whooped both of our asses. <laughs> that was like a 2.30 in the morning kind of night. It's our usual thing. We have a habit of staying around and catching all the bands. And something really exciting happened. We actually got to outload Doyle's gear. And meet the man himself. Cool fucking dude. Fuck yeah, man. Doyle on the off chance that you actually watch this video. Nice to meet you, brother. It was a fucking honor to open up for a legend. I'm not gonna lie, I fanboyed out a little bit to open that door between the bar and the stage area. And there he was, just fucking working out. Thursday night was a great time. You're here for episode 11. We have moved into the past 10 phase. Yes. It's a thing. It is a thing. Which is gonna be another bit that we're gonna bust out a little bit later on this episode. It's a thing. Mm -hmm. It's a fucking thing. So you can realize, what else? is going on in the world out there that you can either avoid or try and get into. We don't judge. We don't. It's a safe space. Fuck. <laughs> it's a safe space. Dan. Yes, sir. Tell the people a little bit about Thursday night. Thursday night kicked off with a band called This. T-H-I-S, and they rocked it pretty hard. And then after this, we had Crooked Generation. Raunchy, raunchy rock. I like those dudes. Then after that, we had Optic Oppression, which was the first time I got to see them, and they fucking rocked, man. Yeah, it was my first time catching them, too, and I was impressed. They rocked it. They really put on one hell of a show. And Davy Suicide came out and rocked out. They were pretty cool. They were really nice guys. And then the man himself, Doyle, and they played a couple of love songs. That you could dance to. If you wanted to. <laughs> the singer might even dance with you. He might. That was a good fucking night. All right, I just want to give a shout out to Billy from the Evening Star, Greg and Jimmy behind the Sound and Lights. Absolutely. And then Ashley and Greg from FTMP Events. As you're watching this, it's July 4th! Woo! Happy birthday, America! Happy birthday! History started on July 4th, 1976. Everything before that was a mistake. But there was stuff. No. There was history. No. Dan, there's this whole section where, for some reason, we decided to count backwards. Something happened. But Dan, you don't seem to know the full history of America. Oh god, is this going to be a history lesson? You're going to get a history lesson. Two or three things happened before 1776. Alright. That's it, though. So I'm going to tell you the history of America decided by me. This should be interesting. I've got notes. Oh god, he's got more notes. You know, I don't pay a guy to sweep up the floor when you fucking throw that. It's me when you leave. Listen, there's only, there's four this time. Four. Right. Four pieces of paper. I promise to try and not to rip them into any big shreds after each paper is eh, done. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to sweep it up into a pile anyways. With the rest of my hopes and dreams. Alright, so Take first off, many, many moons ago, in a galaxy not so far away. Oh, God. Chrissy Columbus. <laughs> he said, okay, I'm going to find a faster way to the Indies. And he ran into a landmass and went, all right, we found it. We found the Indies. And we made it there in like half the time. Never thinking that, wait a second, this is far larger than tiny little island should be. What happened was that he fucked up. He fucked up and he's got his own holiday somehow still. And the Indians yes. wander out of the woods and like, hey, uh, we, we, we found it first. He's like, no, 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 I found it. I discovered it. It's exactly how it went. There was an exact interaction. Don't fact check this. Some time went by, and the pilgrims, they said, we want freedom. Fuck you, you bloody wankers! And they left Britain. And then they found America. And again, the Indians came out of the woods and they said, um, living here already. They moved in. Some people died. Some people didn't. They spread out further up and down the coast. And then we had the colonies. All right. Now, during all this time, Britain, you know, the people that these pilgrims left to be independent from, they said, listen, you can't take care of yourselves on your own. We're going to make sure you get taken care of. You'll have food. We'll send it over on boats. We'll set up an infrastructure. And you just have to pay us. Taxation. And they went, all right, thousands and thousands of miles way across an ocean, but sure, we'll still live under your rule. But the Brits, they said, we'll take care of you. And I feel like this was the initial setup for the Godfather movies. Make you an offer that you can't refuse. So the colonies, 
with me so far? Yeah, I can think so, yeah. Then 1776 rolled around. Yep. No taxation without representation. That's right. And we fought the British. That's right. And then the French came in and saved our asses. Thanks, France. We haven't forgotten. Never forget that's going to come back around in a little bit. Okay. Was this also like the birth of the French fry and fireworks? Totally the birth of the French fry and fireworks. Yeah. Right there. Excellent. I Mark so that down in history. So after that went on, there was the War of 1812, right. which not many people know too much about. And I'm just going to women say that we fought the dark side of the force. Star Wars came down, and we're like, nah, fuck all y'all, we're gonna fuck shit up, and we're like, no way, freedom, America! So Chewbacca is actually the Sasquatch that people are hunting? He never yes. got back on the Millennium Falcon? It is. So that happened. So that takes us up to some shit happening. Some shit just happened in general. Then the Civil War, where the North was like, fuck you, South, and the South was like, fuck you, North! Whatever you think it was about, it doesn't fucking matter. It happened. Brother against brother, state against state, fuck you against fuck you more. And the North won. Some say the South may rise again. At this point, though, I'm really, I'm gonna beg against it because far too much time has gone by. I'm sorry. The house music is going on now. The lights have come up. You've missed your chance for the encore. But after the Civil War, we had the rise of the machines as chronicled in the Terminator movies. Okay. You know, machines came along, they helped us do stuff. Some people lost hands and arms. There were children getting eaten by machines. The Skynet took birth. So that happened. Again, don't fact check this. Then World War I. We're gonna start stepping in other people's business. But after World War I... We're just gonna completely bypass the whole Hitler trying to take over the world thing? That's coming. Okay. World War One. This is why I'm educating folks. After World War One, here in America, we had nothing to do, so we got depressed. There was a depression. I believe it was great. Prohibition was going on. Speakeasies happened, and flappers, and dances, and stuff. But the depression, the Great Depression, people jumping out of buildings, the stock market crashed. It wasn't a great time. Then there was World War Two. We weren't depressed anymore. We weren't. And we kicked some Nazi ass. Shit was getting fucked up. By the end of this, you're going to be completely well-versed in American history. We ended World War II with a bang. And that was the end of that. And then Vietnam! Vietnam. Vietnam happened. Started in the late 50s, went through the entirety of the 60s into the 70s. Back home, created a counterculture. Fucking dirty ass hippies. Dirty ass. But some good music came out of the 60s. 70s happened. Vietnam ends. We finally get our boys out. We bring the boys back home. Who the fuck should we hate now? Mother Russia! Now granted, this had already been going on for years prior. But in the 70s, it really became a thing. Because we no longer had one thing to focus on, like Vietnam. You can learn all about it in the James Bond movies. Yes. I know the guy that sweeps the floor. I don't care. <laughs> now, from here, we find ourselves in the 1980s, where there was a lot of cocaine and a lot of bad decisions. The 90s rolled around. A lot of drugs and some awesome shit. But the 90s. The 90s. God, I hate you so much. <laughs> that brings us to the 2000s. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah. Here we go. So the 2000s happen. 9-11. Never forget. Never forget. Always remember. See, it's always been a thing throughout our history. I believe the Alamo was somewhere thrown in your thing that you left out. That was way back. Well, yeah. We're past that You ten. said never forget, and you forgot the Alamo. I forgot the Alamo. There you go. Never forget. But back to the 2000s. Back to the 2000s. Boy bands were still happening, but starting to die off. And we saw the war, the war on terrorism. Fuck terrorism. Found Saddam. In a hole. In a hole. Then we found Osama bin Laden. Kill him too. In a compound with like six wives. And all this brings us to the modern day. Alright. Where, um, safe spaces? 
safe spaces. So today on July 4th, we're celebrating safe spaces. Safe spaces. Happy 4th of July, America. This past Thursday, we debuted a new song, Dan. We did. What's its name? It was called Goddamn. I'm sorry, what'd you say? Goddamn! And now, we give you the debut of Goddamn. First time we played alive. I know. Nobody's seen that outside of the practice space. No, sir. Beyond that, we actually got a couple of quick clips of the other bands, too. So we'd like to share their music with you now, just so you can see what else is out there beyond X and Priory. Show you what you missed if you didn't show up on Thursday. <laughs>
those are the most excellent bands that were rocking out with us back on Thursday, the 29th of June. We really don't have a whole lot going on for summer, my friend. We don't. We're taking a little bit of a break. We are. July, we're off. August, I have a solo acoustic show. That's going to be August 8th at the River Pub in Niagara Falls. We're back on stage when, Dan? August 25th, we'll actually be at the Evening Star, where I'm pulling fucking double duty. I'll be playing God's Creatures, filling in for my last show with them. And then we're playing with my band, X and Priory. But Dan, we're coming to just about the end of the show, my friend. We are. We are. It's time to leave. But not quite. Because you know what we have to do, right? But Dan, the time has come, my friend. It's a thing. It is a thing. It's a fucking thing. Stay tuned. And you thought we were done with the history of America. No, we found the redneck history of America. Because it's a thing. It's a thing. It's a fucking thing, man. Right, are you ready? Because we haven't even previewed this, so we have no <laughs> idea what's going to happen. We got the first <laughs> line, and I said we've got to. In the beginning, God created America. And here we He's go. He's seen that it were good. But lo. God done beheld that it was full of democratic savages, not properly exploiting the land. So God created his best creation yet. Good, clean, proper, God-fearing Republican white folk. And the white folk built jet skis, what to cross over the ocean's blue to nab America from them savages. We gave him casinos and Johnny Walker Black, Jesus all God. a savage requires. But when the king of wow. England seen oh how awesome God. America was, he got his titties in a twist and sent his pussy army to try and take it. America defeated them losers before supper. And that's how we won the Civil War. Some years later, Abraham Lincoln and George Washington was sitting around smoking their pipes and playing Xbox. Not 360 now. They ain't had no 360 yet. This is the past, stupid. Oh then God. come World War I, when America had to fight the rest of the world. We won. Then come World War II. <laughs> we defeated them Nazis, led by Jim Hitler and Michael Moore. Then come the 1960s, the fall of Merck. But the filthy liberal scourge swept We don't condone the this. <laughs> wow. That's when Ronald Reagan shoe up with his vice president, Chuck Norris. But it were too late. They had already instilled Barack Hussein, Dahmer, Hitler, Obama. He said his what? Right. For life. Obama don't understand the power of real Americans. One day, the South will rise again. Reagan will come back wearing a cape of gold and holding in his hands an ornate scepter of fate, which he will use to defeat Obama and his army of hippies. So that was a thing. That apparently was a thing. <laughs> we don't condone that thing. What? That was a thing. Wow, and I told you, the South thinks they're going to rise again. Apparently. And you were right with uh, Star Wars being in World War II, apparently. Well, so. no, I said Star Wars of War of 1812. Apparently I got that a little mixed up. Yeah. That's you, my you bad. Didn't, you didn't fact check to the good old American redneck. But I told you, Star Wars, that was a fucking thing. So now you know that those idiots are out there, so now you can prepare for them. Hi. Happy birthday, America. Happy birthday, America. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. Yeah. What? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I like my version of history more. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll stick with that one. There are people out there that put that shit together. There's people out there that still think that way. Yeah. And also, don't forget to click right here, subscribe to our YouTube channel, check us out, catch us every week. We air on Tuesday. There's a video being displayed right here beneath me. Make sure to check that out, too. It's something different from what you're watching right now. Have a great and safe 4th of July. Have a great fucking week. See ya.